Hey guys, Richard here, your Mind Master Coach. And today guys, I want to hitch onto what's happening in the media. I mean, if you're in Australia here, you probably would have heard about this Chris Gale incident where he pretty much, like, you know, he's a big, uh, what was it, Jamaican, I think he's Jamaican, but from the West Indies area, uh, cricketer, and he's here down in Australia playing some huge uh, cricket tournament. And basically, he cracked onto a reporter live on air and, you know, it got a bit awkward and he's just getting smashed, right, right now in the last few days in the media for just really what they call, like, they're tagging, you know, sexual harassment for, for cracking onto her because he basically said this. Chris Gale incident over here for fun. Come on, baby. Don't be blushing. If we win, I'll take you out to a nice drink. And so, if you think about it for a second, I mean, like, you know, if it, it's classed as sexual harassment when you crack onto or, or, you know, try and, you know, ask a girl out at their workplace, then I think it's, it's, it's ludicrous, yeah? And I think it's ludicrous because that it's taken so long to get to this point, you know? And it's ludicrous that, you know, it's only happened because of this incident on live national TV. But what if we think about this? I mean, how many of us have been in experiences or how many people in retail, how many people in hospitality, you know, have to deal with that almost every day, right? Every day they get asked out all the time. They get cracked onto all, all the time, both males and females. So I really have to wonder, like, is it a really big deal that now it's made being make it made a big deal now? Because I think it's always been a big deal, but this is the thing. I mean, like, I've fallen victim to it. And when I say victim to it, I've been in Chris Gale's shoes. You know, I mean, like, how many of us have gone to a retail store? How many of us have gone out to, you know, somewhere like a hotel or some hospitality area, gone to the gym even, and you saw someone who's working there and you think they're pretty good looking, they're attractive, and you want to ask them out. And, you know, I've done this and I've had success with it, you know, where I went to a big department store, you know, I checked out the cologne section and basically I asked the girl out because I thought she was cute and I thought she was intelligent and she turned out to be. And then, you know, it's just, you know, when we were talking to, when I was talking to her on our first date, you could say, I really found out that she gets, she gets cracked on almost multiple times a day. You know, and so if we really to change things in the world, guys, I mean, you know, Chris Gale, the only thing I think he did wrong, right, like truly did wrong, was that he did on national TV, TV and didn't wait until like, you know, the interview was over and then he would ask her out and do it in a more less sleazy way, right? But I guess he was trying to be funny, trying to, trying to like, you know, woo her with his, his awesome like wit, if that's what he was. But, you know, he did some things that were a bit out of hand, you know. I mean, he probably could have stopped that, you know, would it be okay, you know, how about we grab, you know, hopefully we win this game thinking we can go out for drinks, yeah, and then offline done, gone into a bit more detail about that, but because he said that other line of, you know, don't be blushing baby or something like that, that kind of blew it out the water and I think that's what most people did uh, focus on and what's interesting is I liked the way that the reporter handled it, if you checked out that, that little clip there, the reporter handled it so well and, and I, I think it pictures or paints that picture of how, how a lot of women, how a lot of men also feel when they get approached and sexually harassed at work, right? But I just want to just jump in here and say, you know, what Chris Gale did, I don't think it was totally wrong. Yeah, I don't think he deserves to get smashed like he is in the media at the moment. Because, I mean, like any other guy does it when he goes out to a restaurant, when, he, when, when, go, when people go out to bars, when people go out to hotels. I'm not saying that that's a right thing to do. I'm not saying that's a fair thing to do. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a good thing to do. I'm just saying that, you know, he's doing it and he's getting copying flack more because I, I feel that it's just on national TV and he's a target, you know, and everyone wants to go at it. And, you know, when I first saw it, I thought it was funny, right? I thought it was funny more because he got rejected live on air than anything else. And, but, you know, it's, it's been spun in such a way that it's just now people are just clicking on it just to, you know, basically see what's happening. But I wanted to put it out there to you guys. What do you think about the Chris Gale incident? What do you think about that incident over there and how it really translates to, you know, whether it is sexual harassment to go up to someone at their workplace and ask them out or, you know, really just to let them know what you think of them. Maybe they're attractive. You know, he didn't say in the nicest, in the best ways, I think. That's why he could use a lot of 
love coaching and dating coaching, mastering in the mind up here. But I want to put it out there to you guys. The question of today is, you know, should we actually have to wait for someone to finish work so then we can ask them out? Or is it okay to ask someone out at work as long as it's not on live television? You know, I'd love to hear your answers, guys. I'd love to know your thoughts on this incident. And most of all, you know, I'd love to know, of course, comment, share, like, do whatever you need to do to get this message out there because I think it's an interesting topic to talk about. And most of all, guys, of course, I look forward to hearing from you. So go out there, guys. Go live with love and go smash it. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. See ya. Bye. And be here in the moment because what I'm looking for, and this is crazy, is like, you know, I've been like drenched before, yeah, in socks. And what I'm looking for is like puddles, you know, huge puddles that I just need to avoid. And I treat it like a game. You know, it's crazy.